So I'm going to dive into here and take a look at MetaQuest Horizons, Horizon Worlds, see what I can find comes to making a weapon and modify it. There we go. I want to edit my weapons. There we go. So I definitely at least want to find out the basics, because it's not as too complicated, but when you have a headset on, it makes it nearly impossible to understand what the hell's going on. Meta, my lights are on in my room. Thanks so much. So here's the pistol. I took this bad boy apart. It's tons and tons of different parts. That is the target that you don't get to see. And the other stuff is pretty much the same thing as well. The place where there's a reset, if you look over here, look at this weapon. There's a reset right there. You can pick up the firearm and shoot. That moves back. There's a reticle here to fire. There's also a reload. That rotates this cool little thing, so you just press up. And it talks to the rest of these parts that hold data. Actually, there's a script up here that holds the data. But you can see the reticle there. Cool, simple art. Very simple parts. And it doesn't really hold that well in that hand, does it? You have to really work on that, because that's not that great. There you go. So let's take a look at this. Here's a very simple projective fire. So the most simple version would be here. As I showed you before, this part right there. That's grouped. This is grouped. Inside of there is tons of scripting. So let's look at this. This group has has file behavior on or off, has grab special effects, Weapon, pulse, pistol, dry fire, weapon ID number, is held, should follow, display name, reload trigger. Play fire SFX on empty, player fire SFX2 delay, fire SFX2, there's nothing as a secondary one. Fire error SFX, weapon pulse, pistol, dry fire, click, 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 there's nothing less than that. Mechanism group is right, fire visual effects. Kickback 35500, and that's the X, Y, and Z. Current ammo 10, max ammo 10. Reload available, off. Player right, call position, ammo refill, special effects, weapon pulse pistol reload. Fire special effects, weapon pulse pistol fire. Projectile speed 150 units per second, projectile, projectile launcher. Ammo indicator group. Enabled on ammo refill delay 0.2 player forward 000. Constant owner no reloading off respawn reference group respawn time auto fire off trigger held reserve ammo max reserve fire rate fire queued fire weight. So there are a lot of variables in this. So let's do a couple things here. Let's look for weapon pulse, dr pistol dry fire for grab special effects. Let's look around here. Some sounds built in that you can see. Get close. 
There's two sounds there. There is a sound down here. And inside of here are some other fun things that you can see hidden in there. So if we go over here, that's my gun that I made. But let's look at what they have when I blew up everything. So, we have, if you look at the exploded view, just the simple parts. Little things here. The spawn weapon, what to do. Tube B, which is this part to shoot. Weapon pulse pistol fire. Take a little listen to that. Right? Get louder. There we go. So, now let's go a little further and look at this. Weapon pulse pistol. There we go. Clip. Let's go as that. So that's the reload. Weapon pulse pistol clip. Over here. Prototype particle fix. Let's see what that does. It's in here somewhere. It's all together. Where is the actual particle system? It's in all of them. It's on this one too, right here. Let me show this right now. So, pyramid. There's just the pyramid. Trigger. We'll show you when you pull the actual trigger itself. The trigger for the system. All this stuff. Target in was an enter threshold, exit threshold. Left, right, position, position, hand distance, hand distance at reload, allow reload, hand distance threshold, 0.05 units. Okay. So that is a good beginning of what's going on here. And now it's just as a group, but it won't tell you the rest of it. Oh, so all that stuff is in there. Projectile launcher. Oh, that's this thing that goes all the way out there. You can see it if I do this. See? It's really cool, isn't it? That's when it hits something. Go back. There we go. Just go back. There you go. So let's just move this out of the way. Move this up here. This sort of kind of out of the way. So you can see it's connected to a lot of stuff you're not seeing at the moment. It says, check this out. So that's going to be this. You see that 100 I built? Plus 200. Plus 100, depending on where you hit it. Plus 50. Watch. 200. 100. Oops. And then 50 for the blue. It's pretty cool, right? Let's look at my gun for a second. Look through the reticle. My friend of the design. I spent a lot of time leaving yeah. that curve. I wish they had better tools than this. This isn't bad, but it's not exactly the best. It's simple. It does the job. They spend more graphic money time, if you would, on uh, the environment. Some get really complicated. So let's go back. Now we should look at another thing um, on this weapon. Which of course is, you see that it respawned when it was left alone for too long. The timer, uh, the bullet amount. So let's go back here and take a look at that. Alright, thanks so much while I'm making a tutorial. I had to turn that off. There we go. So let's take a look. Properties of that text. Properties of port. So what's it gonna be? You know, I saw something really neat on here. Let's let's go over here. That's a lot to take in, right? 
So this text looks kind of chunky and bold. I didn't notice that at first, but it does. Look at this. This is really cool. B, almost like um, HTML, bold, plus 100, text. That's just the text that it's going to send information to it. So let's look over here. What is going on here? Let's make a duplicate of it. Now let's break this apart. So we have this, this, and this. So score 200, score 100, score, obviously, 50. It's pretty cool, right? Now is it connected to a script? Square target component. I'm going to bring this up a little bit more and then bend that down. Square target component. To color. Nothing else doesn't matter. Square target component is hiding up here. This is the script. Yep. When hit by arrow, or the thing that we're shooting with, is received by object. Send hit by arrow to the target with object, color, score. So send hit by arrow to target with object, color, score. So what's the target? Target is empty on this. There's no target on that. How about if it's all together over here? Let's see what's going on. So when the script isn't broken apart like I did it, it's done properly, right? Because those are all single components. It loses all this good stuff. So, scroll up, target points, blue text display, original position, random position scale, is hit ready, red arrow, original scale, high VT, VFX, hit special effects, shrink special effects, score group, so, uh, text display two, so group and text. I really, really wish they would name this, right? Because that definitely should have a name for each one, each instance to have something. So if we're looking over here, this is a group. This group has a bunch of this together, but it doesn't say. So let's take a look at that. There's a group, attached script, no attached script. So let's just call this, for instance, instead of group, this thing, let's call it Oops. G R P Target One Group Target One Now if that's group target one, then this is probably supposed to be right score or object. I guess we could do GRP group score display one group store score display one right so let's look over here did it change it. Let's see if that works. Score group, text display, all that stuff. And what's inside of this is actually hiding. Same. So I am going to the back, start it up. It says 50, but let's see what happens when I shoot. There we go. 100. There we go. Look at that. That's nice. Let's see what this is here. Yep. Same thing. Cute little animation. Some of these um, load in different places, which is nice. That was here. Now it's down there. That is done by moving it to here and telling it that's its original spot. It's the original group spot. There's two different things. So 
this is group whatever and this has its own name too so that's the same thing there's two different positions for it and there's the score that's up there hiding so let's go back over here so this is group the score display one player record whatever visible on visible off it's only visible on through the script and the script will show it and get rid of it. Square target. This one. Okay. Hit by arrow to target with object color score. Color black score nothing. Target. Now we drop the score. So that's square target component. Who's got that? Square target. So this is the actual script right here. It's a little different, probably. Ooh, that's really complicated. Look at that one. All right, so this ridiculously complex script is here. Okay, so when the loyal to started, hide score group. Set the original position to position of self. Set your original scale to the scale of the object originally. Is hit ready set to true? It's ready to get hit. When set owner is received with player, transfer ownership of text display to player to do score group high visual effects. When hit by bullet, here we go. If is hit ready, so we can see it, it does that cool animation and it moves around, but as long as it's visible and makes the magnitude of position of self is a vector. If it's close enough to this position, we'll figure that out later. Set text display to color to red. Set text display color to red. Two. There's two of them. Display bold plus 200 as string on text display and two. With magnitude of position cell vector is larger than 0.12 and magnitude of position. That makes it harder to even see it. Self. Ah, uh, there we go. Times vector is smaller than 0.4. Color is 111, 111. White. Display 100 is string. Oh, okay. So, if magnitude or position of self and vector is above 0.24, that's a percentage. So you have to think 25% or larger. So there's rings are like 0 to... Under 0 0.12, 0 0.24, 0 0.24, etc. Eh, it doesn't really make much sense, but I'll figure it out. Set text display to blue, blue. String text display, bold. 50 is string and text display 1, 2. Show score group. That's hiding. Show move score group to position of self plus 0.075. Wherever the target moves, it puts it right above it. Move it to position of self. Play sound like this. Self accent hit to self. Now it's ready again to false. And hit by arrow. Uh, the color to position of 0.75 scale. Would hit as you see your friendly shrink effects position of self. Score group. The Y. Down. Move down in one second, one little bit. You. Uh, original scale times 0 0.01 over 0.15 seconds, so it disappears. Scale arrow. It disappears. And over 0.15 seconds. Hide self, 0.15 seconds. When hide, hide visual effects self, hide, we said self. To 1.5 seconds. And reset or receive score group isn't ready to true. If use random move, move self to original position plus new factor random between nine minus one times random position scale and oops and oh for each one of the x y and z the zeta okay interesting so original place minus wherever it started minus something. Scale south original scale for 0.3 seconds, get larger, and it's ready to shoot. Makes sense. All right. That's a lot. So.
We shoot it. And it calculates where it hits in a percentage, which I don't understand that. The uh, decimal value disappears and slowly uh, it grows back to its original size. This specific thing has a rule that it doesn't change where it's at. This does random placement. Oh, you see that? It didn't go away, it just went really tiny. See that little tiny dot right there? Let's, I'll show you closer. See? Right there, my little tiny dot. So it's one unit X, Y, or X or Y. Shows the score, goes away. See, it goes up a little bit, disappears. Wow, that's pretty cool. All right, so the mechanics of reloading and stuff are pretty complex, and I'm going to get to that a little bit later. This is the first part of my self-made tutorial that I will go back and I will do all the stuff to teach other people how to do. So I eat my way myself and I can really understand this. Maybe I should go over a couple more things here, I'm just, saying, just for myself. So far, so good. There's some of these scripts. Fire control, weapon spawn, gizmo, projectile, targeting reticles. That's great. Go away. That's just for that stuff. I think it's shared across the particular. Simple launcher, simple projectile. That's for that guy. Maybe all that's, this is all shared for this. Let's see if any of these, when I, I try to move these are connected. It's not going to tell you, I love that. It's so cool. Back. Okay. Let's take a look. All right. This uses Firing controller script. So let's take a look. Firing controller script. Right here. But this is a monster. Hey, look at that. There we are. Jesus. Set owner ID to owner of self. Transfer ownership to and an indicator of your ID projectile mechanism fire sense. Okay, so far so good. Last for the Jesus Christ. When post artists brand their own ID as certain player, full refill to self, update team mode display, mod display self, set grab stay. Can I do it with my finger? No, I guess not this one. If constant owner is not null, Set constant ring player to owner of constant owner. Owner ID equals server player. Transfer ownership to self to Owner ID equals constant owner should follow, not is held. Force release of self, transfer ownership of self to constant owner player. When respawn, constant owner equals nothing. Send respawn to respawn ref. Respawn ref. And here is friendly similar to the other script. Um, let's see. Respawn ref. Uh, there you go, respawn ref. It's an object. Okay. When trigger is released while grabbed by player, Set trigger held to true. If fire wait, fire cue to true, or else fire. Set the cell from trigger index trigger. It's the top button. Trigger is released while grabbed by player. Trigger held to false. When fire is received, enabled. If enabled and current ammo is more than nothing, set current ammo to current ammo minus one. Place sound on fire sound effects. So, fire sound effects. Nope. Okay. Can I go with that one over there? Is. Is there? 
projectile impact. Okay. Fire sound effects. I'll bet you that's one of those in there. It says to look when I pull apart. Fire sound effects. Trigger prototype. What do you got? File pump button pulse picker butt. Let's say maybe it's one of these right there. Let's move this out of what? Okay. Weapon pulse. Weapon pulse. Okay. All right, so that might be one of those fire sound effects. Let's take a look into that. Fire sound effects. Okay, fire visual effects. Fire sound effects. Weapon pulse pistol fire. Weapon pulse. Pistol. One of these. Weapon pulse, pistol drive, pistol reload. Pistol fire. There we go. These together with this one. Hey. Okay. Makes sense. It's a life roll only, right? Okay. Let's go back up here. Okay. Enable on current ammo. Fire and empty current ammo. On empty, current ammo is larger than zero. Fire sex is south. Fire is two. Send on fire projectile with self. Send do fire feedback to self. Set update T mod display to self. Bounce play sound with fire six. Auto fire triggered. Fire queued. Fire weight. In fire weight self to fire rate seconds. With new parameter. And fire rate. And nothing at first. Alright. Fire special effects. Like that. And fire wipe. Fire meets false. Fire cued. Fire. Fire cued false. Current ammo small and zero. And reserve ammo small and zero. And max reserve is large. And nothing. Okay. Send respawn to self. So get rid of the weapon when it runs out of everything. Back to its original spawn point. Now uh, that we define. Then set enabled receive bull. Bull is not enabled to bull. Full refill to self. Set enable to ammo indicator. Full refill reserve ammo to max reserve max ammo. And that's defined. Max reserve max ammo would be just defined somewhere in here. Max reserve max ammo. Let's see. Current ammo max ammo for 10 seconds. That goes back up there. Reserve ammo, max reserve, nothing. Fire rate, not really changed. All right. If reload available, reload to self. Thus, refill ammo to self. When set projectile received to object, projectile object, do fire feedback. Self, kickback, it's more of our controller vibration, stop animation on mechanism, play animation mechanism. Send fire. Send vibrate to self, vibrate, is right, distance from right hand, position, is right, right, owner ID, 100 milliseconds with strong course, vibration, haptics, on left, if it's the left hand with the control, with the, uh, weapon, if enabled and do not reload is available, do not reloading, reload the true, reserve ammo, show reload mechanism is received, Set reload mechanism state to ammo indicator. Self, the end display, vibrate to self. Rotate self by 10 degrees on the X. When reload is received, enabled, and not reloading, reload is available. Set reloading to true, reload available to false. Self to kickback. 
Uh, haptics on left or right, strong and coarse. Reload mechanism state, ammo indicator, reload available. Refill ammo to self, ammo refill delay. Refill ammo is received. Cancel sending event refill ammo to self. Set reloading to false, set reload available to false. If max reserve is smaller than zero, set ammo reserve to max ammo. Okay. So I guess my saves. Current ammo to my bat. Set reserves. Play sound ammo. Or fill effects sent. Update team mod display to self. Update ammo display. Display ammo indicator current ammo max ammo. Reserve ammo. So it takes these variables that are defined, put in through over there. If current ammo is smaller than zero, show reload mechanism. Okay. Uh, when object is grabbed by player, cancel sending event respawn. Should follow to false it is held to true. Place sound on grabs, sound effects, send grab state to ammo indicator is held. Send vibrate to self. Update team mod display to self. Transfer ownership to self and player. When object is released by player, player equals the owner of this group. Held false, triggered false. Place sound on grabs, sound effect. Send grab state to ammo indicator is held. Send respawn to self. With respawn time seconds after something, so if you just leave it out there, it's going to respawn back at the original place. When button one is pressed, oh, 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 no. There we go. When button one is pressed while grabbed by player, send. Show reload mechanism with self. When button two is pressed by grab by player, show reload mechanism with self. All right, that's it. That's a lot. Now, we Oh my god. Ammo indicator is a script. Alright, we're on the starting. Grab some grab, grab laser sight. Let's hide laser sight. It's like this, is that? Ammo indicator? Wow, okay. Wow, that's a lot. Sound, sound, sound. Mm -hmm. Wow, look at that. It is HTML. It's interesting. Set. Break, break, break. Coloration, the lasers, the tech display, fire display. This is really, really cool. So let's see the trigger reload script. Okay, it's not too bad. Visual effects script. Yeah, I don't know what that is, but... Oh, it's all like, the explosions and all that other fun stuff. Okay. Maybe some of the little sparks that come from the gun. Weapon spawn. Makes sense. To create how long weapons where it's supposed to go. Temp string, all the other good stuff. Okay. Weapon has physics. Okay. Gizmo projectile. A little different. I don't know anything about this. So at least from the gun finds its place. Weapon up. This is its local axis. I've learned about all that. Burst radius and then all that. Okay. Explosions, animations of hit, damage haptics inside the controller. Explosions, mass explosion, distance from it, play effects, do damage haptics, I want to write controllers. 
if torso and point direction of player. Interesting. Targeting reticle. Set color active color to C, whatever C is, and that'll be defined inside of each one of these. It'll be different for each one. Uh, each weapon that uses the same script. Self enabled rule. Get distance. How far it can target. Wow, that's really awesome. Okay, pull out. Simple launcher, simple projectile. Send blood hit by object position. This is a lot easier. Still got a lot going on here. Reset new parameter, move self position on, rotate object released by player, object is grabbed. Index trigger is pressed while grabbed. I have to do all that stuff. And I will. That is a wonderful beginning to the rest of all the scripting good stuff. So I'm going to stop right now, take a look again a little bit of some of this. Give you an idea of how complex that is and beautiful. Um, and these are just other weapons. But this is my weapon that I've created so far. I'm very, very happy about this. There we go. I think it's really... Oh, how about that? Can I go? Um, that's a pretty good gun. Let me hold it like I'm really about to shoot. Yeah, that's not bad. I could add a little bit of design or something else to it. It's not bad. Let me shrink it down to like my hand size right now. There. Yeah. Not bad at all. It's a little different. Back there again. Yeah, look at that. Beauty of VR. And actually, that's obviously real tiny now, but let's that back to where it was. Alright. Cannot wait to go further on this tomorrow on Saturday. But that's it for right now. Let me stop my recording.